Hey, what's going on, fam? This is your boy Ronnie P. I'm back. I'm actually now driving the Volvo. This is the C40 Recharge Twin Drive uh, 2023. As you can see from the profile, side profile, this is a compact, compact SUV. And um, it's pretty nice. Like from the outside, very nice. Definitely has that Volvo vibe. See from the back. Uh, beautiful uh, roof line. Comes down. Trunk, everything. And of course here. Really nice. So, of course... Real quick, let's go over everything. Everything on the front, you can kind of see uh, fog lights. Uh, it has um, LED daytime running and, um, you know, LED regular headlights. So it's pretty good. You know, you don't, when you ride into the daytime, you're pretty good on it. Um, actually rides on 20-inch wheels, and they're nice. They feel good on the road, comfort. Beautiful issues with the back. I mean, I love the the way they made it look. It doesn't look like an EV. Another car that doesn't look like an EV. I love how Volvo did this. You would never tell because, of course, they have the regular gas model that looks just like this. So, you know, I love that part. I like a car where you don't can tell it's an EV. Uh, but if you go to the trunk, it has a push trunk. It goes up. Again, this is a compact SUV, but it's perfect height for just getting around town. If you're one person or two people with this vehicle and you have a limited amount of bags, this is perfect. You can just throw one or two, maybe four bags without hitting the top, but two bags is really good. Um, when you go to the bottom, and I'm sorry for the wind noise, you know, on the bottom, is under it, it's like a fix. You know, you got your tire supplies, I think a fix a flat, and that's pretty much it, you know. But you can put a little bit of stuff under under it with no problem. So I do like that. Um, to close it, you also got, you know, push down, and then you also got a push to lock. So if you want to lock your car, if you're done, you can just hit this and you're done for the day, or you just want to close it. And again, I'm six foot, so you won't hit your head on this as it goes up. Locks up perfectly. Uh, charge port. And charge port is um, got the CCS, you know, DC fast charge, uh, J1772. So that's pretty good. Um, so I hear this car can actually charge at a DC fast charge for like 150 kilowatts. I think we could do a 30, but, um, you know, 30 minutes or so. I'm actually not at a fast charger not like a little shell recharge vault one but you know still j1772 so that's actually pretty good I mean, we'll try it out for it just to see how that works uh close it and i like the fact you don't have to press any buttons you just tap it and just open it up so getting in the vehicle is very comfortable and i know you're tired of hearing that noise wind noise and everything but it's very comfortable it, the car comes on as soon as you get in so you're not looking for a button to press i like that just keep the key on you and you're you're good to go uh it has a nice lcd nice big screen not too big perfect for you as the driver and your passenger if they need to look at anything um of course, like even when you put it in, so you can see the how it goes. The you know you put it in park, you have park, and you can see. So in order to switch it out to make sure that you can see everything, you got to put the car in drive. I don't have my seatbelt on, so it's going to do that. Just put it in park again. Um, and again, this is a nice steering wheel. Steering wheel is really nice. Uh, comes heated, heated steering wheel. Um, you can change the tack on everything. So your drive, your, you know, windshield wipe, 
uh, sorry, this is the side for your headlights. You got auto, regular headlights, you know, sides, and just straight straight off. Uh, fog lights, like I told you before, signals, and the signal buttons is nice and calm. Um, what else? On, the, on this side, there's no rear mirror. There's no rear windshield wiper, so that sucks. But, you know, you also got a nice um, windshield wiper, so... And it comes on good, like not automatic, but works perfect for me. Um, as far as the controls go on the on the dash, you got your adaptive cruise control, speed um, cruise control, and you know right now it's getting it's, you know not active because I'm not driving, but per it, it's actually pretty good. Like as long as you keep your hand on the wheel, and it will guide, it will stay in the lane. Um, up and down, excuse me, up and down, you know, on the speed, if you want to go faster, slower, and if you need to change anything, you know, that's good. Also, also you got on this side, this is your, uh, skip tracks, forward track, reverse track, up and down volume buttons, um, change this one also changes the, the, uh, menu, uh, LCD menu. So you have a clear where it just tells you you know, you're going straight or not. I prefer to have the map, you know, it just keeps me focused on not looking at the screen so much, this screen so much. So I'm okay with that. Um, oh, of course, you know, on the screen, it actually gives you so much information, which I really, really like, you know, your, um, LC, your range, how much range you got. And it actually tells you the battery plus the range where some of them like, just want to tell you the battery or, They'll tell you the range. I like both. Um, how many miles you did so far, kilowatts that you've been going, uh, your power and your re regen. Everything is really right there. Lane departure, all that good stuff. As far as this screen, this screen is amazing. It can be a little tricky at first. So they have one button here that you can actually press that'll bring you back to like pretty much all the stuff that you have. Um, this uses maps uses maps i like using maps as google maps i think google maps is great every so often you want to try you know something else um but the maps work perfectly it'll actually tell you you know put the address in and you're on your way to that destination with no problem if you need a charge it tells you the charges that you're right next to it doesn't give up this one i don't know why but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> not everybody needs to know every charger in the world. But if you needed a fast charge and you're on a road trip, it'll tell you where it is. Even if you put the destination of where you're going, it's going to like a little, um, just try like the high um, airport. So if you go into the high airport, it'll actually tell you how long it'll take you to get there, how much you're going to get on arrival and how much you'll get back if you was to return to your destination. So you have like an estimate amount of what you can do. This route avoids crashes on I-85 South and then a slowdown. And I don't know who doesn't like Apple Maps. I mean, excuse me, Google Maps. But if you don't like Google Maps, guess what? Comes with Apple CarPlay and you can just go access Apple Park CarPlay and you have your Apple Maps right there. So you can use that instead of Google Maps. But the Google Maps integrated works perfectly. Um, as far as, so these are the things that you have on your menu, your maps, driving journal, YouTube, um, messages, Bluetooth media, Sirius XM, radio, uh, regular radio, phone, Apple CarPlay, uh, Google Assistance, range, assistant, car, status CarPlay, air quality, Play Store, pretty much anything you need. I like the fact, I, I didn't realize this till now, I like the fact that YouTube is actually here because right now, while I'm sitting at this charger, I can actually charge, watch one of my shows for the time being, and I'm good. Matter of fact, I'm going to go put this on the charger right now. <laughs> but also, um, you, you know, like, you're, like I said, you're sitting here, you're chilling, you can watch it, and you're done. Um, as far as your seat controls, so you got you know, your hazard buttons, which is nice and quiet. You don't, you know, you don't hear too much. Uh, it's not annoying. Uh, your defoggers, 
front, rear, uh, reverse, play, pause, forward. There's nothing here. I don't know what it was supposed to be, but and there's nothing here. As far as your, and then of course here, you know, you got your little things that you may need. Um, wireless charging, max um, 120 watt. It only takes USB type C. So it gives you two. So you got one dedicated to the to the car, one dedicated to charging, and you're good like that. Two cup holders, excuse the mess, but uh, two cup holders and your drive selector. You only get three. I mean, excuse me. You only get these four. Park, drive, reverse, neutral, and you're good. Um, there's a couple features that I do like about this center console. Okay, so real quick, I just got out to charge it. This is actually slow charge. It's not a lot of charging in this one, but you know, I just wanted to get it going. I hate to hold up a charger, and if somebody needed this, I'm holding it up while you know showing you guys a review, and then they want to you know, recharge or whatever. So anyway, I'm actually charging. It's actually charging at about, it looks like it can go up to 48 amps, 46 amps right now, which is... Okay, pretty cool. Thought it might. Oh, it's going up to forty-seven. You know, see if it hits forty-eight amps. I'm not gonna be here till one p.m. I'm just showing you guys how it, you know, charging. And I'll probably go to a DC fast charger later on and just, uh, excuse me, um, uh, try to go to something where it's one hundred and fifty kilowatts and see what happens. But let's get back into why this is a great vehicle so again this has one of the i like what they have here and then how to get rid of the stuff for you guys so you got a wireless charger which is great you put you and it goes on you could put your phone there uh case no case and it does charge now just gotta make sure it's lined up but there you go and it charges no problems, no issues, just charges up completely, and, you know, it's good. Uh, of course, if you got Apple CarPlay, it'll just be charging at the same, I mean, um, you got it charged up, plugged up, it'll just charge automatically, but if you don't, it's good. Also, here's this little thing right here, which I like. So if you open this, and let's say you want your phone, you want your phone right here, you can put your phone right there, and now you have... A better access to your phone where you could pick it up, drop it off, you know, and leave it right here with no problem. I hope that's what this was for. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I hope it's, this is what it's for. But I like it for this fact. It goes in my phone perfectly. It fits there. And um, I like that part. Also, you have the, um, again, two cup holders. But you also got one in your... Uh, right here on the one side and one on the other side, which is pretty good. Uh, another, we got a nice deep pocket. Again, this is a rental, so don't judge me. Um, and you have this here, which I don't, I mean, I don't know what you would put in here, but I guess you could put something in here. I don't know what you would put, but it's a nice deep one. So you figure out what you want to put in there and that'll work. Um, as far as the seats, oh man. So these seats are very comfortable. Um, I think this is a little lumbar. I mean, I'm not lumbar. But um, very comfortable. Heated seats. Uh, cloth seats. Very comfortable. I have had multiple people in here so far, and no one has said, oh, I feel uncomfortable um, with the seats. It's uh, And the fact that it's not a manual, like, movable seat, you can just, you know, move it like this. And you're fine. It goes well. I love that fact. Comfortable. Comfortable seating. Heated seats. Really good. Oh, and so if you want to know how to control the uh, climate, it's right here. It comes up in blue. And it tells you exactly what you need. You know, if you're going to... I like to keep it in auto most of the time. comes on and tells you every, everything's going to work perfectly. Lowest setting, one to five, one to six, technically, max. But you put it in, in uh, auto, it'll do its own thing. And you just hit auto again and turn it off if you feel it. 
And you can also have it where you can, your driver can have, I'm sorry, the passenger can have their own. You can have your own. Um, as far as the heated seats and, you know, you got three levels of heated seats, three levels of, um, I forgot the word for it, <laughs> uh, your, your seat, uh, steering wheels. And that's cool. That's really cool. You know, parking, if you want, you could precondition the car to accept uh, fast charging, which is actually really good. Me, I don't, I'm, I'm not doing it right now because I don't need to. I'm not going anywhere. Level, level two charging. Yeah. Um, and then you can also do an air, fil air purification. So that's actually pretty good. I like that. You know, you could timer when you want to start charging. All that's good stuff right now. Uh, what else we have here? As far as you got the range assistance, which is actually pretty good. The range assistance, um, you know, if you right now it's telling me how much estimated range. So that's how much you may have. Like it's up to 80 to 110. Right now it's saying you're in the middle of 140. And that's all on how you drive. So if you're driving like a maniac, you're definitely going to hit the 120 range. If you're driving sane and at, at a certain point, it's 150. And if you're driving like super, like a, 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 a responsible EV driver, then you're at the 180 mark. And of course, the, the what you're using, you got a range optimizer. So if it'll limit most of your controls and you can get more range out of your vehicle. So, you know, that's good for when you're on road trips. You can pull as much as possible and then of course you can always turn it off and see as you can see the climate control actually jump back up it took a lot of took a little bit of energy back from climate control you know so yeah uh what else do we have you know i don't want to go into the sirius xm and the radio i think you guys got that pretty much uh the bluetooth media is actually really nice again syncs very quickly hit connect it tells you what to do and it's very easy so no no stress don't stress yourselves out about that stuff air quality this is actually one thing i do like the air quality it tells you exactly what you need to know um in cool in air outside pollen is like low so if you're an out like allergic to the outside air you're gonna have a you know you'll be okay knowing what you're gonna get yourself into so you'll be okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So as far as settings, these are most of the settings that you're going to need all in here. Um, driving, you can change it. You can go off-road. You can put it for off-road or standard. You got your drive support, you know, help you out with everything. Uh, lane keeping assist, the load information, the ready to drive, let you know if the person in front of you have left. One pedal driving. Um steering I, I took the one pedal driving off i felt like it's a little too aggressive for me and uh, i didn't see where i can actually change it i've been going through the settings and trying to see where i can change this and make it go from um you know where i can use it and it's not happening it's not happening to where i can uh change the regen and how it just is what it is Maybe you guys can find it. And if you do find it, please put it in the comments. Let me know. Because I feel like I don't want to make it seem like I'm that bad. And, you know, I've been driving this for a, a couple of days. So I feel okay with it. Um, and then you got your controls. This is one thing I do like. Headrest fold. So I didn't get a chance to go in the back seat, But this is the headrest fold. So when you are with other passengers, as you can see, it's not a lot of visible uh, visibility back there but if you're with people or if you're not with people you can fold those headrests down and you can get more visibility and all it is is like one button you can hear it fold boom boom they both fall and then now you got more visibility of course you got um the roof glass roof so you got nothing but you can see everything it's kind of good for your passengers and um you know, they can see everything as they're moving across. Um, I'm going to get in the back seat so you can actually see the back seat. But um, 
yeah, this is the front. Um, of course, you got everything you may need. Fold the mirrors on locking, auto dimming, locking. Um, I don't know what's going on with my, this car because I have it locked, but for some reason the back door locks. I don't, I don't see where it says child locks anywhere. Oh, but it does that. Daytime running lights, all that good stuff. Uh, you could, if you want to turn off the fully turn off the car, you got this button right here. And you could just turn off the car, press it, power off, boom, you're done. But most of the time when you get out of the car, the car is off and you can jump and you're done. Unless, and you don't have to worry about anything. But you can turn it completely, completely off and rock out like that. Uh, what else? Oh, so let me get in the back seat. Okay, so I got locked in the car. I just... I just want to let y'all know that I got locked in the car. And this is why this button right here, child lock. I didn't know that the auto lock for the doors um, is all of it. So it's also the rear, the window lock and the child lock is the same. So be careful because you, you, when your people are trying to get out, they can't get out. It even says rear child lock is activated. And I was stuck in the back of the vehicle and I had to climb up to the front. So I'm going to do this again. But, you know, boom, deactivated. Actually says it now, so we're good. So getting out of the vehicle, coming into the back seat, I'm six feet. I'm not going to go in through this way. I'm going to go into the other one. And, you know, going in through this side, if I get stuck again, y'all... Um, I'm just not going to do it. You know, when you get in, uh, you got enough room. Now, this seat is all the way back. It's not my seating. It's not my seating. It was just like as if. But all the way back, I'm six foot, and I have way, I got enough room. I got enough room to chill out and just be on a car ride and feel comfortable with somebody that's over six feet. And it needs that much room. So you can see my feet pretty good. A lot of room. Um, there is a wall. Um, it's not flat. So, you know, for the person who sits here, they probably have enough space, you know, to get in. Uh, but, and then you can also fold up the seating. So now, you know, everybody's sitting there pretty good. You have, you know, um, See, um, heated seats back here, so you know, two button. It won't show right now because the car is actually charging, and they think I'm out of the car because I'm not in the front seat, so everything turns off. Weird. Uh, but you got vents, you got your vents going on, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, as far as here, you have enough. You got your two. Cup holders, armrests, comfortable. Again, I'll be comfortable on this trip. Uh, locking the doors. You can lock the door. You can unlock the door. And your um, your um, window. And, of course, you can see your whole, you know, as you drive, you can see everything. This is great for if you live in a, a nice city. You, got, you can see the whole skyline of wherever you are, and you have no problem with it. Um, as far as lighting. This light, I love these lights. Like touch and they're beautiful. They 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 light up the whole entire car. You know, no no issues. Mat uh your mat pockets, and that's it. I mean, so you know, you can definitely do a little trip with four people in this car and not feel like you guys are gonna you know hurt each other or it's gonna take forever to get to that destination. Um, let me see. Sitting in the middle seat, I wouldn't advise it. I think this is, I mean, if you got a little baby, this is cool. But as a grown person, yeah, no, I wouldn't do, um, I would, I would just keep this as a four. Unless it's like a deep, uh, an emergency, then you would throw somebody in there and do that. But as far as, you know, here, you're. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. Uh the mirror. Um, the mirror is cool. Um, no issues with the mirror. 
it's not a uh, uh, back remote camera, back back and camera, none of that. But it's cool. I, I don't have no issues with it. Again, very little visibility. You know, you really can't, you know, see too much. But you definitely, you know, you definitely have blind spot monitoring. Everything's in there, so you're not really losing your mind. Seats fold down again. That's the best part when you only when you don't have anybody in your back. You just fold down the mirror, uh, the seats, and you got more visibility. And you know, that's it. Uh, as far as driving, this car is smooth. Got enough pickup. Got enough speed. Um, you know, torque is instantaneous. It's, you're not, you know, sitting there trying to lose your mind and try to figure out if you're going to be able to catch up in traffic it will go like everybody as soon as i hit the floor everybody's like oh they thought they was on an airplane so that's pretty good uh oh let me go to the front this, this car got a front so let's go and check that out if i can get out of the car ah and then i gotta go back around and around and around okay I wish it was able to like open from um, the, the key. Oh, hey, let me show you the key. This key is actually nice. This is the key. Nice orange key. Uh, your buttons lock, unlock, and the trunk opener and a hazard, you know, I mean, um, alert to find your car. And of course, let's get to the trunk. So the trunk, look at that tells you do not drive i mean it's already charging why would i drive but it tells you do not drive so trunk it's got to be a button oh. so latch goes up now i got nervous when i seen this i got completely nervous like where is the rest of the thing like i'm used to seeing like components or something nothing here but when you open it they actually gave us a charger <laughs> uh decent charge um so you can keep your cable right here and you have no issues if you are at somebody's house or somewhere where you can use it you're good nice i mean and then of course if you don't have that you can put whatever you want in there you know to use for the time being but yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, yeah. So what else can I show you? I don't know if this car will turn on. It might, because I am charging. Ugh. So I want to show you. Okay, okay. So see, remove cable before it starts. It's not even gonna let me show you guys. It's actually like no, but that's good. Because that's what you want. You want the car to like stop you from doing stupid stuff like driving off or when your when your cable is in. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I can show you guys that doesn't mean that we have to drive off or anything? Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. It's a very comfortable car. Very cool, compact SUV. If you're one person and you um, if you're one or two people, you don't have a lot of things going on. This is an actual good car. Oh, and the seats do fold. I'm sorry. So these seats do fold and they fold pretty much flat. So you're not really like, you know, you will have enough space. You'll be okay. If you add, add any more baggage and stuff to the car, you know, I like that part. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get some driving for you. But overall, this is how good it is. Okay, not for nothing, this car looks great at night. Um, you really just got everything around you. Again, like I said, the LCD screen. I mean, um, yeah, your screen right here just tells you where you're going. You still got the second one here. If you have it hooked up to the Apple CarPlay, um, you can see there's lighting you know, around the corners of the car. So, you know, it's good amount of light, you know, nothing too like to blind you or to distract you from the road. Um, and again, 
I have no complaints. I actually have zero complaints with this car. I would like to road trip it. I I, I want to see what it would really do. I don't know if I can, but I, I definitely want to try. Okay, this one is the one that says it's working. Let's see if this one works. I don't know. Everything's a problem. He's in point. See if I can get it in. Looks like it's on. I'm gonna click it. Let's see if it'll work. Now, let's see. This is Target. I can I. That's the right one. It's the right one. So we're gonna start the charge. Start charging. You should hear a click. Authorizing. Heard a click. And I hear the car move. And I hear the car warming up. So. It actually says plug into vehicle, which is weird. I don't know if it's. It says, still says like initializing and charging. Maybe it's not in all the way. Yeah, it's still saying initializing charging, which is weird. But I hear it clicking, so I don't know. It's still telling me to plug in to charge. Let me take it out and plug it in again. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's moving now. Okay, so real quick, it's ramping up, ramping up 28. Now it says it's supposed to do 100 kilowatts. Of course, once it says 100 kilowatts, it ain't giving you 100 kilowatts. It'll probably go to like 70, whatever. <laughs> it's definitely not doing all that. Now I set the limit to 100. Don't mind me. Um, you know, I did it for, you know, just so that I don't have to worry about it later on, but, you know, you can change it to 80 and the time change. So 605, which is pretty good. It's only 525 and if it goes to six, 605, that's great. And that's 80%. It's pulling 79 kilowatts at this time. This is 100. I feel like if you're going to do something, I think they should just give you all of it. I don't think they should just limit to, uh, you know, 80, kilow uh, 80 kilowatts. I think they should literally give you the whole 100 if it can. But it is what it is. And um, I'll be here for it. 30. I'll be here for 30 minutes. I'll give you an update once it finishes.